tell a friend to tell a friend that do it all haulers in and we are back with another nba 2k23 next gen build video and today i have another one of those special six foot ten builds for you guys and not only is the build six foot ten but you will be able to finish with this build you still can make plays and you can play some defense so make sure you watch the video to the end so i can show you guys how i created this masterpiece we are going to small four position the hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice let's get it man but before i go any further you already know what time it is, man. I need you guys to go down there, hit that like button, get this video to 50 likes. And if you like the face cam, I ain't no time I had to switch it up a little bit and give you guys that because one of my subscribers wanted to see my face more. So, hey, man, here you go. But with this build right here, like I said, we are going six foot ten, and six foot ten is a height that a lot of people are using now. And I decided to create a lot of six ten builds. Trust me on that. So we're going six ten on the height. 212 pounds on the weight, seven foot two wingspan, built body shape as if you care because I still don't care about that body shape. Let's go! And as you guys can see, we are starting with the finishing on this build. And the great thing about this build, right? You get the name Pure, Sharp, well, you don't get Pure Sharpshooter, but you get the name Sharpshooter, right? And that alone lets you guys know that this build is a great shooter. But you can finish, like I said. So with the close shot, we're gonna get that up to a 76. Really, really good close shot on this build. You do get fast twitch on silver, and that's great for a pure sharpshooter, all right? For the driving layup, we're going to get that all the way up to 82. Now, if you want acrobat on gold, go ahead and take that up a little bit higher than what I have. I have it at 82, which is not that bad for the layup, but it, like I said, if you want gold acrobat, go ahead and take it up to 84. For the driver dunk, we're going to get that up to 86. A 86 driver dunk does give you guys... Uh, limitless takeoff on gold, you get slithery on silver, posterize the silver, feel his finish on silver. Great for a sharpshooter. Now, don't think you just have to sit on the perimeter with this build. That's not the case, man. You can go in the paint and you can finish at the rim. So for the uh, standing dunk, we're going to get that all the way up until we get about 18 badges. So we're looking at a 73 on the standing dunk. So with that being said, those 18 badges are what you have to be a great finisher. And I think you can get it done with this build. So I would go with fast twitch, posterizer, fearless, uh, limitless takeoff, slithery, and everything else is just icing on the cake, all right? Once you're able to core a tier three badge, then you can go back over there and get rise up if you want to use that badge. Now, if you don't want to use rise up, that's fine, but you will be able to get that plus six once you are able to core fast twitch or posterizer, it's up to you. But let's go ahead and get into one of the best parts of the build. The green beam, make your girl scream badges. Mm -mm -mm. This build, is a hell of a shooter, man. We got an 88 on the three-point shot. Now, when I first created this build, I gave the build a 93-point shot. But I went back and I extended the uh, wingspan a little bit so I could get a little bit more with the build. Not a whole lot more, but I did get a little more with the build. So uh, we got an 88 on the three-point shot. And to get the name Sharpshooter, you have to have an 88 on the mid-range shot as well, or else it would be another name. So we got an 88 on that, and I think we got like a 66 on the free throw. And I'm doing this on the fly, man. I, I don't have my screenshots like I normally have. So I'm just giving you guys this straight out the dome, man. You know what I'm talking about? So with those 26 badges, you are free to do what you want to do. But um, with this build, um, you got a lot of Hall of Fame badges. Now, I don't know how you play. You may like the fade. I don't know in the mid-range at the three-point line. That's a personal preference. But for me, I don't play that way. So I don't talk about badges like Agent 3 or... Um, Media Magician and Space Creator. I don't talk about those badges because I really don't use those badges like talking about. So I'm not going to be out here talking about something that I don't use on a daily basis. So I speak on what I know, not what somebody told me, okay? So with those 26, right, I would go with Amped, uh, Claymore. I would also use Corner Specialist, Catch and Shoot. And we'll probably throw in Limitless Range on this build and along with Blinders. I really like Blinders, man. I'm not a, big, a huge Dead Eye fan. But I really like that blinders badge. And then you have a other, I mean, you have other badges that you can use to turn you into the sharpshooter that you will be with this particular build. But let's go ahead and get into the sauce. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody and their mama can see this video. So do that for your boy, boy. Now, with this build, right? So for the speed with ball, we're going to get that up to a 70. Uh, the ball handle, we got an 80 on that. And the pass accuracy is about a 76. So we got okay passing on this build to be a sharpshooter. 
Uh, we have 17 playmaking badges, which is really, really good. And keep in mind, you're 6'10", right? You're not 6'9", you're not 6'8", you're not 6'7". You can't get Anchor Breaker on this build, so get that out your head. But the great thing about being 6'10", is that you get Clamp Breaker Tier 1. And you can get the badge on Silver, so that's really, really good, man. And I would also go with Hyper Drive with this build. Handle for days. Uh, quick first step. I would also use that badge and everything else is just icing on the cake. But the badge I just called out are the badges that I would use first. And then I would go and try to add some other things to this build, uh, which is really not that bad, man. You know, it depends on how you play. Um, I can't determine your play style, but I can give you a few badges that I like to use. The badges that help me out a lot, you know what I'm saying? So you go use them same badges. So uh, make sure you're testing these badges out, going out there, using them. Uh, seeing what works, seeing what don't work. Always pay attention to the top right when you are doing something so you can see if the badges work. A lot of people say badges work and they don't even pop up, but that don't mean they don't work. But I like to see the badges pop up. They're just me personally. And um, I go out there and I do certain moves just to see if the badge will pop up. But let's go ahead and get into the defense, right? With this particular build, uh, we do have some defense and um, I really want you guys to take advantage of the defense. So. Uh, we're going to take that perimeter defense. See, you can get it to an 82, but I'm going to take it down to an 80, right? Um, like I said, you can take it up high if you want to, but you can't get uh, clamps on this build. So it don't even matter having high perimeter defense unless you're that worried about the lateral quickness. That's all I would use the perimeter defense for on this build anyway. For the steel, we're going to get that up to a 77. And as you can see, uh, you only get bronze glove and bronze interceptor, which um, if you take the wingspan up a little bit higher, you can get silver interceptor, but that will be about it. Okay, for the interior defense, we did take that up a little bit. Did I leave it at a 66 or did I take it to a 74? Um, I couldn't, rem I can't remember what I did with, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Just leave it at a 74 for right now. But I know I took the uh, block up to a 78. Um, we do get chase down artists on goal with this build, and that's really, really good. We do get Poco as well. For the rebounding, we're going to take the offensive rebounding up to a 72. And, uh, well, I think we got more than a 72. Let's see. Yeah, we got like a 73. We got a 73 on the uh, offensive rebounding and a 72 on the defensive rebound. That's exactly what it is. And we got that 74 on the interior defense. And we get a total of 22 defensive rebounding badge. So, I will most definitely go with... Um, Pogo, Anchor, Box, uh, we'll throw in Interceptor Gloves just for the hell of it. We'll come back over here and get Rebound Chaser, and we would also use Chase Down Artists. Keep in mind, this is not a power forward. This is not a center, so don't think you're just going to be down there trying to snag out Rebound. This build is not made for that. You know why you're out there, man. You know what I'm saying? It ain't a secret. So look at the combination. 18, 26, 17, and 22. Not bad at all. For the physical, we're going to get the speed to an 80. Acceleration is a 75. Leader strength right there to 49. 75 on the uh, vertical and the rest is on stamina. Now let's get into these takeovers. So we have sharp. I mean, check this out now. We got finishing. We got shot creating. Shot creating takeover on a pure sharp. Man, that's crazy. We got sharp shooting and we got big lock, man. That man, just choose something on the takeover, man. That's up to you. Are you ready? Because guess what? I do not clickbait. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. We do have shades of. Come on now. We got Hidu Turkaloo. Brandon Ingram and Michael Porter Jr., those names always pop up, and the bill is a sharpshooter. That's the bill. Make sure you like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Love those that love you, and I'm out of here. Like last year, y'all.